Hello there, this is Rahil from All About Affiliate Marketing. In today's video, we will talk about using images for affiliate marketing or basically getting images for affiliate marketing. Now, the question is, do we need images for affiliate marketing? So let me ask you a question. What do we need in affiliate marketing? We need users who can make sales using our tracking links. So to get users, we need contents. Let's say we we either have we should have a website, a blog, a social media web presence. So we should have those platforms with us, the accounts with us. If we do not have website or blog, now on those platforms doesn't matter a website, a blog, or or social media account. You have to create content. Uh, for example, you have a website. So for that, you have to create video. Within video, you have to use different images. Now, let's say if you have a website and you write about different stuff on the website or website probably has some content. Now, there will definitely be images because we all know images are attractive and they take the person attention and kind of very appealing, uh, very convincing to to them to, to take some actions like making sales. So there will always be a need to use images. Let's say you have a blog where you write about different kind of cell phones. So the question is, will you need images for those uh, those cell phones? The answer is yes. But can you use the images from anywhere? You simply just Google search and use them. Can you do that? No, you cannot. Because all the images that you find out there, there will be an owner of those images. So whenever you click an image or you generate an image, that image becomes an artwork of yours. And you hold the, uh, the copyright for those images. Now, without your permission, no one can use it. If they can use it, if they're, they're using it, well, they're under copyright issues and you may file lawsuit against them. So yes, it's very serious. So that's why avoid using the images that you found, find out there. Don't just Google search and use the images. There are platforms, there, there are resources available that you can use to get or download copyright free images, or you may also call them royalty free images. So yes, that's true. Now there is a rule. You may use these platforms to get different kind of images or, 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 the image materials but you can't sell them these images by default are are the property of the owner of those images without the permission you cannot sell them however for your creative work you may use it like you know being uh, having a website a blog you may use feel free to use these images over there so that's one rule second is when you are getting the images from any platform one, you may simply download the image and use them on, on your website, blog, or social media web page. Second rule is you don't just have to download, but you ha while using it, you have to attribute that image to someone, like whomsoever is the owner of that image. So first is you have an option to download the image and simply use it. You don't have to worry about attribution. The second, the second option is to use the image with attribution. There are platforms which will allow you to use uh, to to use the images without attribution, but then there are some platforms which requires you to use the attribution. And I understand, you know, attribution sounds a bit confusing to you, so that's why I have an example. There's a website of mine where I'm using royalty-free images, and as you can see, this is the Macleod Ganj. It's 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 a place in Himachal Pradesh of India, and this is a royalty-free image that I have used. Now. This is not my property. This is the property of someone else. If I hover over here, you can see it says Alexander Siko on Flickr. So it's an attribution. So writing a line that who is the owner of this image and from where I have taken that image, that's all what is required. This is called attribution. So if you're using the image on your website or on your blog or, or your social media web page, and if the attribution is required, you may write something like this, like image by the name of the person on which platform from where you have taken the image. That's all is required. Now, we will first we'll talk about those platforms which you can use to download the image and attributions are not required. You can simply just take the images from there and use it. Like you can see five different images that I've used here and I haven't mentioned any attribution here. It's because I have taken these images from those three platforms. So the first platform that we have, it's called Pixels. Uh, the website is pixels.com. 
P-E-X-E-L-S dot com. You can come to this website and you can search for any, any image that you want to download. For example, I want to search for bag. Let's say I want to write a blog on different kind of bag and I just need an image. So I can search for any image I like here and you can see it's with just one time there are 12,000 plus images. Let's say I like this image. I can click here and I'll see an option to free download. I can click on the downward arrow and I can choose the size, let's say medium, and I can download it. All right, so see, the image got download. Now, I don't have to even attribute it. I can simply just use this image. That's it, that's how simple it is. And it's pixels.com. So this is the first website that we can use. We can, we can search for any number of images we like, we can download it and we can use them. Now, second website is Unsplash, and the website is unsplash.com. So you can come, you have an option to come to this website. You can search for any product that you like. The functionality is same as pixels only. You, you can search for high resolution images in here. Let's say I'm searching for camp and uh, this is the image that I like because assume that I am creating a YouTube video on camping. So I may use this specific image on my thumbnail. So I can just click on it. It will give me the option to download free. I can click on downward arrow and I can choose a size, let's say medium, and it will automatically download it. Now it will say that I, I can write something like this when I'm using it, photo by Scott on Splash, but it's not required. It's just like on the when we are taking the images from on, from Unsplash, if we want, it's optional. We can attribute it, and if it's all right, like if you don't want to attribute it, then it's also fine. Okay. Now the next website is Pixabay. On on Pixabay as well, let's say I search for a and I uh, the term laptop and all these images that I was able to find. Again, the website is pixabay.com, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y uh, dot com. And let's say I like this image of the laptop. I can click here and I can click on, you see, it's written here as well, free to use under Pixabay license, no attribution required. So I can click on free download. I can choose a size. It also says the, the size as well in, in terms of pixels and in the actual size as well in KBs. All right, let's download this size. All right, sometimes it will ask you to sign up and it's okay, it's free. It's just, if you if you have a Google account, you can, uh, you can sign up with them, even if you don't have the other options. Otherwise you, you can always click on, I'm not a robot. And then you can download. You see, it got downloaded. Again, it's kind of, it, they're showing that we can attribute the image like this, image by this from Pixabay. But again, this is optional. If you're gonna do it, you can do it. If you don't wanna do it, it's totally fine. So these three websites, one, Pixels, second, Unsplash, and third, Pixabay. So these websites you can use to search for high quality images. You can download them and you can use them. But the question is, what if you try to find images and for some reason you're not able to find? It's a very specific image that you're trying to locate. The problem with these websites are that they have high quality images and the owner of these images are, are professionals. Now, there's a limitation of, of these professionals out there. So not all the time you would be able to find images. So what if there's an image you're trying to locate and you're not able to find? So in that case, you may use a website called ddmm.ai. It's a recently announced website. And let's say I want to search here, Adidas shoes. And so I can simply just type in anything in here. Let's say Adidas shoes. And I click on enter. You see, all the images just came up. But you have to be very careful with this. We are seeing the images here. That doesn't mean we can use them. We have to, from the top right hand side, we can click on all licenses and we can click on Creative Commons. And this will only show those images that 
we can use. So let's say I want to use the first image of Adidas shoes. So again, when we are on this website, we can search for the product, we can change the license to Creative Commons, and then whatever result comes up, we can click on it. Now, when you click on it, you'll see an option to download directly from here. I would not advise you to do that. There will always be a link to the resource page from where exactly this image is taken on this platform. So always go to that URL. And there's a reason that I will explain shortly. So when you click here, it's, it's a commons.wikimedia.org. It will take me to this page. So you see this image that we saw here, it's basically taken from here. Okay, let's wait for it to load. Right, so it may take a few seconds. All right, we're here, it got loaded. From here, we can read through the instructions. Now, according to the licensing, we can use this image so long as we are attributing it. That's why it's very important. If you would have downloaded it from here, from this platform, we would have never known about the attribution requirement. So that's why if you're using this platform, always go to the resource URL. And from there, you can click on whatever download option you'll see. Sometimes it will take you to the Flickr website. Sometimes there could be other websites as well. But you will always, most of the time, you will find the option to download. So always click on the download. And when I click here, it shows the attribution, like this text as well. Now, I have an option. I can use text like this. Otherwise, I can simply mention image by Patrick Ragnarsson on comments.wikipedia.org i can also write that way it's attribution is simply the name of the person the honor of the image uh the the image and from which platform you have used i can click on the size for example if i want to this is the size it will open a in a new tab since i did right click and i can click on Control s and i can download this image I can save it as .jpg. So I got this image. This is just an example of how I can use it. Now, if I take you back to DDMM website, and if I click on back, you'll see there are other shoes as well. And the there will be a name of the file, and then there will be a name of the platform. So this is how you would know that from where exactly this image is taken from. For example, this one. If I click here, and it will it will have a url like this if i click on this it will take me to Flickr website can wait wait for it to load okay it's gonna take a few seconds i suppose so once we are here we will also see an option to download and we can also attribute if you're using this image then we can attribute the image to eric malona on on flickr so that's how we can use it so i understand again you know using the attribution may become a bit confusing that's why the best thing is to always use these three platforms that we first talked about and if you're not able to find your product in there then you might want to use it but be careful with the attribution side so i hope this video was helpful to you and would help you understand how exactly you can get different images whether attribution is required or not and in case if you have any question related to affiliate marketing not just about like image uh, using the usage of copyright free image any question related to affiliate marketing fee feel free to mention the question in the comment section of this video or any of the video that i have created uh, in the meantime don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video and click on the bell icon so that any new video that i create you get notified for the same all, all the very best for your journey ahead with affiliate marketing have a great day